Welcome back YouTube. I'm standing at Reload Gun Range in Tarpon Springs, Florida. This is actually the spot of my big shooting event December 2nd 3rd. If you guys want to check that out, click the link in the description below. It is going to be crazy. Why am I here? They invited me out today to shoot the new Gen 5 Glock. I know, it's a Gen 5 Glock. Not too many changes have gone through this gun, but it is a new Glock and everybody wants to see it. So today on my channel, you're gonna see it run suppressed. I brought along the CGS Group Kraken 9. That thing has been in development for quite some time. I just got it in like two days ago. Did a yard pop out back. Can sounded incredible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the differences between the Gen 4 and the Gen 5. We'll shoot a couple rounds with their barrel. We'll swap it out for a threaded one, throw the can on it and see how it runs. Let's go ahead and have some fun. Alright, everybody at home knows what a Glock 19 and a 17 entails. Let's not get too deep into the details. We don't want this video to get too drawn out. So the major differences here. No finger grooves. Yay! They're gone. Flared magwell. Okay. Ambidextrous slide release with a non-ambidextrous magazine release. I guess that's the Gen 6. Um, they did cut some reliefs on the front of the slide, which I actually like. It kind of gives it that larger Glock 26 look. Uh, this 17 has the same cuts as well. And it has a NDLC finish, which is just a fancy way of saying Glock's version of a DLC. And I believe the barrel is normally rifled. They did away with the polygonal rifling. Um, so not too many changes. So basically they took a Gen 4, fluffed it up a little bit. But you know what? At first look, I actually like it. It's uh, Finger grooves were a big, a big thing. The flare feels good. I have medium-sized hands. It actually feels pretty good with the 19. The finish is definitely a large improvement. It looks really good. So uh, yeah, enough talking. Let's go ahead and put some rounds through it in its stock form. All right, uh, we're gonna run the Freedom Munitions 124 grain NATO. So this is probably what this gun was designed for. Let's see how it runs. First round's fired. Gen 5, Glock 19. Definitely groups like a Glock, or that might just be me. Rinse and repeat. Let's try the Gen 5 17. Already feels better in my hands. Probably because the magwell on the 19 kind of hits the bottom of my pinky, so this feels a little better. Oh, yeah. Much tighter group too. So I know which one I'm gonna take home. <laughs> Let's take these off. I'm probably yelling at everybody. Let's throw a threaded barrel in it, see what this thing sounds like suppressed. All right, well, the 19 definitely sounded awesome. We're gonna wait a little bit to shoot the 17. We're actually, today at Reload is the unveiling of the Gen 5. There's a line out there, everybody's waiting to shoot it. So we're gonna take a break. Let's capture some of the reactions of the public and what they think about the new Gen 5. We'll ask them what they think after they shoot it. We'll circle back, we'll shoot the 17 later, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Let's do it. Okay, so this is Tiki, this is Adam. They were the very first guests today at Reload to shoot the new Gen 5 Glock. Tiki is a new shooter, not much experience at all, and Adam is an experienced shooter. So we're gonna kinda see what they thought about it. Now Tiki, you don't have, again, much experience shooting, so you don't have many gun frames to compare it to. What did you like about it and what didn't you like? 
<clears throat> I actually, I'm in love with it. I want yeah? to take one home today. Now um, you shot the 19. We, yes. we got some footage of you shooting the 19. I don't think we got any footage of Adam shooting just because right. we couldn't go back and forth. But was it easy to shoot? Was the, was the reach of the trigger good for your hands? Do you have like medium sized hands? It, it was perfect. Mm -hmm. um, I like the, as far as the trigger, the pull on the trigger better than what I've been shooting with my instructor, which he has a Gen 4. Okay. So it, I just felt more comfortable. I like the size of it. Mm -hmm. it. It felt just holding it overall as a new shooter. It, it was, I love it. Felt right at home? Yeah, I can't okay. say anything bad about it. I really can't. Adam? I own a, uh, a Gen 4 okay. 17. I shot the Gen 5 17. Okay. Um, very similar gun. It okay. does seem like the trigger pull might be just a tiny bit lighter. I noticed that too. 5. It's like uh, almost crisper maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they didn't say that they changed it, but... It, it, it did feel a little bit different. Right. Um, not massive differences, right. but enough that I noticed. Right. Um, but classic block feel okay. uh, operation. Um, solid piece. Out of all the changes, what was your favorite? Um, that's a tough one. It is. The changes are subtle. They're subtle, but I, I... And this is not a fluff piece by any means, guys. I'm not getting paid by Glock. I haven't even talked to Glock about this. So I, I like the grip change the most. I hate finger grooves. Right. And I think the really subtle machining on, on the slide was well done. I would agree with that. Right. It's um, like a large version of the 26. Yeah, the, the finger grooves on the four don't bother me at all. I actually like them. Right. Um, but I didn't miss not having them on Right. This. You're just like, oh, I don't it, need them. Yeah, it felt comfortable. Right. Um, you know, so, and maybe that's me right. liking them, you not liking them, I guess that's, you know, right. it's personal preference. And the Magwell, I, I didn't really, it was so minuscule. Yeah, exactly. You um, know. So, very subtle changes to cool. me. Um, that Gen 4, Gen 5, I don't think it'd go wrong either way. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same page. Yeah. You know, my opinion, I wait till the prices level out because yeah, exactly. you know people are gonna buy them. Be gun broker, gun yeah, broker. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so, charging a premium. I mean, we're not breaking new ground here, guys. It's a Glock yeah. with some subtle changes, but it did shoot nice. Yeah. So, thanks. Thanks for yeah. coming out. Thanks for Definitely. Talking. Glad you enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Thanks. All right, I'm standing here with a Sherry and Josh. Um, they just got done shooting the new Gen 5 Glock 19 and 17, so let's find out what they thought. Sherry, we, we already know you could shoot. Uh, you were shooting groups better than I was earlier before this event started. Uh, what did you like and what didn't you like? And you could just speak freely. I like the, sub, the smaller one, the 19, uh -huh. better than the 17, okay. mainly because it fit my hand better. Okay. I think my groups were better with the 17, obviously, because it was a longer gun, so I okay. think that that, I don't know, the full-size gun, I think, Your sight radius be, was a little yeah, easier. Right. Um, do you have much experience shooting Glocks? Because you didn't have any of the pulling left or pulling right issues that people have. You were just very linear vertical stringing. We have a Glock. Just so a Glock? What a model? Glock. 19. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, do you know what Gen? Four. Gen four. So she's kind of... Yeah, she shot it a bit. How, how much would you say you, you've shot the Gen four? Um, Thousand rounds know. total? Maybe. Wow. Probably less than that. I was going to say less, yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay, so either you're natural at shooting or the rifled barrel and everything kind of came together to help it be more accurate. Did you shoot that one better than the Gen 4 at home? I, well, about the same? Probably about the same. Okay. Yeah. Josh, what were your thoughts? They're both nice guns. I, didn't, I was expecting a little bit more of a change because when we heard about this first, they said it's a new Glock 19 or a new new Glock gun. They didn't say what it was. Right, they're very vague. Gen five, yeah. So I was expecting something. Oh, like totally a different refresh gun. mid cycle yeah. thing. Or I was expecting something totally different, but it was more of just a the same a thing. Gen five, yeah, just a upgrade from the fours. A pig with some lipstick on it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I mean, say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Glock. It's yeah. not pretty to look at. It's a tool, and it does work well. Yes. So cool. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. So. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see you both at my shoot coming up in December. Yeah. All right, everybody, as much as I wanted to show you what the Kraken sounds like on the new Gen 5 17, I can't. The Faxon and the Sansco barrel didn't work, unfortunately, but we ran a old, nicely worn in lone wolf barrel earlier on the 19, and as you saw, it ran just fine. So I don't know if it's like a tolerance issue on the barrels, or if Glock did in fact change something enough to where it will not work, but it will not function on the 17 with those two barrels. So uh, 
we can't hear what it sounds like. <laughs> this sucks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. Uh, we did get some feedback from some new shooters, some experienced shooters, Glock users, non-Glock users. So general consistency I see is it wasn't a mind blow change, which we all knew coming into this, but the changes were nice. They were subtle and I actually like it uh, more than my Gen 4. So take that for what you will. I'll probably be picking one up myself. I don't know which one yet. First, I'm gonna do some research on the barrel issue. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, guys, make sure to click that like and subscribe button. And don't forget, big shooting event here at Reload for the NFA Free Shot Show Expo, December 2nd. See you then.